Very good. In the darkness, in the middle of the night, I'm praying for assurance, everything will be alright, Lord, I see another battle out in front of me. And I'm afraid I won't be able, and I'll go down in defeat. He said, didn't I walk upon the water? Yes, he did. Didn't I calm the raging sea? I spoke to the wind. It hushed and I gave you peace. Didn't I run to your rescue? Didn't I hear you when you called? I walked right beside you just so you wouldn't fall. Didn't I leave all of heaven? Didn't I die? For your sin, I searched till I found you, and I'd do it all again. He said, do you remember where I brought you from? Just take a look behind you, you'll see how far you've come. And every time you've asked me, didn't I deliver you? So why would you be thinking I wouldn't see you through? Didn't I walk upon the water? Didn't I calm the raging sea? I spoke to the wind, it hushed, and I gave you peace. Didn't I run to your rescue? Didn't I hear you when you called? I walked right beside you so you wouldn't fall. Every time. I've ever called on him for the day. He's been there. What a friend we really have in Jesus. But the Jeremiah said, I've not always been at my best. But he's always been there for me. And not always been maybe on my journey, on my on my job, as I swear as we should, Brother Randy. Maybe Brother Randy spoke of that a little bit. But I hope you'll treasure up what you've been listening to. I don't know what to, what to preach on tonight. I don't I won't hold you very long. Many things was on my mind as these brethren were wonderfully blessed. Sometimes we sit on our seat, and I know the preaching brethren has experienced this. Brother James is... We feel like that the Spirit is good and we feel like that if we was up, we'd probably have a good sermon like to preach on for the wheel at the time. But then when you get here where I'm at, your mind may go a different way and we don't know the mind that the Lord wants. But I do know this tonight. If you don't have Him down in your soul, you need Him. You need to be, as these brethren said, step out on these promises and on that faith. 
And if you believe in Him and you, you know all about Him, if you know if He's come in, and somebody said, how? Well, I know the change has come. You'll know the change has come because the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. You feel it down in your soul. You feel that change. You feel a different man. You feel so clean inside. You're born again. A new birth in Jesus Christ. That's what it is anyway. Sometimes, and as we read here in the Bible, when we say in this in our preaching in the Baptist family a lot, and it is true because Jesus said it, you must be born again. And that confuses Ron a lot of people today. And, and it did an old man in the Bible, did it not? He sought Jesus by night. I sought Him by night too, Brother Abe, on my pillow. Many times I cried out to Him. I'd slip away and I'd cry to this man, Jesus. This man sought Him out. And He said, Master and my word brethren, what must I do to be saved? And Jesus looked at Him and began to talk to Him. And He said, you don't marvel now. In other words, don't even think about too much. Well, what I'm saying to you, but don't marvel at this. You must be born again. And it just and He did, I guess, Brother Jerry. He, he thought about it and He said, Oh Lord, how can I be an old man enter into my mother's womb the second time? But oh, Jesus, so full of love and so full of mercy, I looked at Him and began to say, Todd, oh Son, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. I'm not talking about this man here. In other words, I'm talking about the man on the inside, if you will, of the soul of men tonight. It must be born again. You have to give Him your whole heart, in other words, and He'll be found with you. Oh, I read to that man later on in the Bible. Don't we, yeah. Brother Abe? Where do you read about Nicodemus again? Oh, when they took our Lord up on Galgotha's hill and they crucified Him and there was a certain man on the wind. Oh, can I have His body? I want to anoint it. I want to take care of it. Oh, men and women, we read. And Nicodemus went with him to get the Lord's body. Brother Abe, he must have believed, didn't he? Oh, he must have knew. He must have went away. And knowing what the Lord had talked to him about. Why? Because he found him a concern. Concerned. I hope you'll pray for a moment of time. We read of another man in the Bible. Oh, I love reading after this man. Every time on this man see the Lord, he go over and lay his head on his breast. Oh, he loved him, brother Abe. Oh, I remember the night I laid my head on his breast. Uh, you talk about a sweet time I've had in the Lord. Uh, oh, women, uh, this man began to write one time, and he began to say, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was the God, and the Word was God. Oh, and the Word was made flesh, and, and it dwelt here on the earth, and we beheld His glory, oh, the glory of the only begotten Son, oh, John, I see Him a little while, uh, he, he went to the Lord, he was out on the boat, Ron, the Lord had already been crucified, and, and they was out on the ship, and they looked on the sea. Shore, and they seen a Jesus walking down the shore. And they begin to make their way over to Him. Oh, look at there, look at there. It's Jesus, it's Jesus. A John went right over to Him. And He laid His head on Him again, Ron. Every time He seen Him, He laid His head on Him. But I see that man one time. And He was out on the aisle called Patmos. Uh, and he uh, was out there. Uh, they wanted to get rid of him. Uh, Brother Abe, there's men 
men that would love to get rid of you. And I, they don't want you around when you talk about the Lord. But oh, they didn't want to hear about Jesus no more. They'd already got rid of him for the jury. But this man, he was out there on that aisle called Patmos. And all at once, he said, I heard a voice behind me. And when I heard the voice, oh, that voice, have you heard the voice? Uh, these brethren have been preaching about him tonight. All oh, the voice of the Lord is heard. Oh, I'm glad it's still heard in our land and in the country. I want to lift his name up, men and women. Oh, he's got good ways. His ways are far above our ways as the heavens is the earth. Oh, men and and he said, I turned to see the voice that was calling me. And I saw him. Oh, his head, his hair was white like wool. Yeah. Oh, John. He said, I fell at his feet as I was dead. But oh, he laid his right hand upon me. And he said, fear not, John. Oh, it's me, son, in my way. I'm here. I'm the one that walked with you. I'm the one you laid your head on. I'm the one that went to Calvary. I'm alive, son. I'm alive forevermore. Oh, I come up here. I want to show you. Oh, what he's showing. He showed him the beginning. And he showed him the end. He showed him all about it. Oh, men and women, I don't know when the end is. John, he told him, he rode, he didn't begin to ride. How did he begin to say, oh, John, write this down. Right blessed are the dead. Why do you want us to know that? Oh, we've all had loved ones that's died, ain't we? Oh, honey, you miss your mommy. You miss your daddy. We all do. But oh, John said, he told me to write it. I'm going to preach it. Right blessed are the dead who died in the Lord. Oh, you miss for the man, don't you? You miss your mommy. Oh, I remember hearing you preach. I love and the feel of touch one more time. Oh, men and women, I've got the sweetest feeling down in my soul. We're going to live forever. Glory, glory, glory. I taste him tonight. Mm, he's good very good. Oh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I believe Brother Randy said it's better felt than told sometimes. But oh, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from henceforth. Yes, say the Spirit, they rest from their labor. God, you know, you know, I told that old man in the office the other day that was talking about his wife. I said, son, uh, God's blessed you for two years to live with her and talk to her. She may leave you, I don't know what I said, but oh, uh, you know what? It's a blessing. Uh, God knows all things. Uh, and it's in his hands. And he knows, as I said, his ways are far above our ways, as heaven is the earth. We don't know why things happen, but all we know who we trust in, Amen. Brother Will. Amen. This world will beat you up, men and women. John saw it all. Oh, he looked. Brother Will, Brother Jeremiah, he looked and he saw. And them riders didn't he? Yes, on those horses, didn't he? Oh, uh, the first rider was a riding a white horse run. Oh, I love the Word of God, don't you? Yes, I love His ways. Uh, when He goes out, it's like a two-edged sword. It'll cut and it'll heal the 
same time. Why? The Spirit of the Lord, it, when it's upon you and you give it out to men and women, it'll pierce your heart. But if you let it, it'll draw you to Him. And when you find Him, you'll find peace that the world don't understand. You'll find joy. You'll find happiness. You'll find the love right down in your soul. It is also a black horse. It's fallen. Death is on our trail. Death is out there. There's a red horse. Hell and destruction is coming to this world. But all, if you let that Spirit pierce your heart, if you'll step out on the faith as these men have been preaching tonight and say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. That's what I actually had to come to do. You know what, Patty? I got down on my knees and I didn't know how to pray. And I was ashamed. Dad preached 46 years and his own son didn't know how to pray. I didn't know how to pray. I didn't. Thought I did, Brother Jerry, but I didn't. Oh, I got down on my knees and I said, Lord, here I am. Here I am. I don't know what else to do. Take my life, Lord. Oh, Lord, change me that I'll be changed. If You don't change me, Lord, I can't be changed. All at once, I felt a peace. I felt love. I felt a purity in my soul that is hard to explain tonight. I found the true one. I found the Savior of the world. He's been a special Savior to me. He'll take care of you, men and women, as you go through life. He has. I could ask, I could sit down with everybody here tonight and I could say, tell me, tell me something. And you begin to tell me and not even realize it, what the Lord has really brought you through. What He's really brought you through. He blesses us all. His eyes is over all. His ears are open to our cries. His eyes is over us. Do you want Him tonight? You can have Him if you want Him. You say, here I am, Lord. I'm stepping out on Your promises. I want to be, I want to be what You want me to be. I want to go where You want me to go. I want to say what You want me to say. Man, I find myself sometimes talking about the Lord in my everyday life and I didn't even plan on doing that. Why? He dwells in my soul and it just comes up. It just comes up and it comes out. It comes out. Me and Brother Jerry talk probably two, two times a week maybe. Brother James, you and I speak on the phone. It don't take long to preach or talk when you start talking to mention the goodness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord in our everyday lives. He'll take care of you, men and women. He does. He has. And He always will. He walks by your side every time. Every time, only Brother A. When you call on Him, He's there. He's there every time you call on Him. He's been, he's been the sweetest friend I've ever had. My biggest regret is in life that I've only professed him eight years. That's the biggest regret. Could have turned. I could have turned. Wished I would have when I was 19. I wished I would have. A lot of things I wish. Wish I would have been able to get down at Dad's feet. Wash his feet. Wish I'd been able to sit with him. Wish a lot of things. Wish a lot of things. Brother Jerry said one time in his preaching, I'd love to feel my mother's hand again. I thought about that a lot. We're going to a land where we're going to live forever. It's a real place. You talk about joy. Amen. You talk about happiness. You talk about peace. We're going there. And as if you're a true child of God, you want everybody to go with you. You want everybody to go with you. Wouldn't that be special tonight? 
I've said this before. Wouldn't it be special tonight if we went up home, we, we drove up Mud Creek, we'd see people out on their porch singing praises to God. Or raising their hands up saying, thank you, Lord. One day we're going to see that. Yeah. We're going to see some running for the rocks and the mountains to hide yeah. from the face of the one that comes. Yeah. But the children of God is going to raise first. So yeah. they're going to be dressed. Yeah. John, that rider, saw it. He said, a new Jerusalem. He saw a new Jerusalem. A holy city coming down out of God out of heaven. Adorned as a bride for her husband. Oh, men and women, are you ready to go?